Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and thank you very much for coming back to the channel. Last year I bought a new camera after selling some equipment which was the uh, ZWO 2600mm Pro which I have here. I was really excited to get hold of this camera but unfortunately I got the camera and I couldn't get the filter and the filter wheel to go with it. So that's where my journey started but uh, stick with me, I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you my first light which is the Jellyfish Nebula which I took with this camera and filters. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astro Bloke. So as I said, I bought this camera last year. Uh, I sold some another camera and some other equipment and uh, the 2600 mm Pro is a camera I really wanted when I saw it come out. It looks absolutely fantastic. However, I couldn't get hold of the filters and the filter wheel that I wanted. Um, I was able to maybe get the two inch ones but they were starting to really push the price up and I wanted to go for the 36 millimeter unmounted filters and I went for the Antlia ones so I was able to get hold of the uh, V Pro LRGB set quite easily no problem at all got them in hand but when it came to the narrowband filters and the filter wheel I was really struggling especially in the UK Anyway, online I got hold of uh, what I needed through Agena Astro and they were excellent, um, uh, good price, nice and competitive and they got it shipped out straight away to me and uh, unfortunately that's where it all went wrong. So it arrived in the UK on the 1st of December where the UK Customs took hold of my parcel, told me they've got my parcel and that was the last I heard. And um, we're now in February, over two months later, not a word, still got my parcel. You have no way of contacting them. I've tried emailing, I've, I've tried all sorts. Literally impossible, cannot get my uh, parcel back. I'd, uh, I was feeling quite sort of down about that. I thought, well, what am I supposed to do? But Agena Astro are absolutely amazing. Their customer service is second to none. So um, I told them of the problem and they were brilliant. I was talking to a guy called Raymond and I wanna really say thank you to him because he has been fantastic, answers all of my emails speedily and has been nothing but helpful. Agena Astro basically said, look, we'll send out the uh, shipment again to you or we can give you a full refund. The only problem they had was they didn't have it all in stock. I said, look, I'm prepared to wait, and uh, it didn't take that long, only a few weeks, and they had it all in stock again. So they then shipped it out to me with using a different courier, and amazingly, it turned up within a week, which is m ridiculous, because the original parcel, which is now like three months ago, was sent to me, it's still not arrived. So it's either been lost or just forgotten somewhere. But at last, I got the 36 millimeter unmounted filters, and the filter wheel that the uh, 2600 mm Pro can bolt to because this is how that this is mounted, it's bolted to it. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we'll just jump onto a little bit of video uh, of me putting the filters in. So they're not as straightforward as mounted filters which are nice and simple, screw them in. These have got uh, these little sort of um, uh, masks that go on top and they take three little screws and these are minute screws. Now luckily, the little screwdriver that comes with the ZWO filter wheel is quite good magnetic uh, screwdriver and holds onto the screws quite well, but it's still really fiddly. And let me tell you, trying to get these filters in the right way round without dust was a challenge. And yeah, uh, I uh, uh, now I've done it, uh, I don't want to do it again and I'm hoping that 
this will be this will be kept together and I'm never going to have to worry about it again because it was fiddly it was time consuming and my my did I have a battle with uh, dust unfortunately I've also got a little dog and uh, she decided even though she doesn't molt too much every hair she's ever dropped decided to join in on the game so uh, I had I had a bit of a challenge but anyway what follows is me putting the filter wheel together So now it's uh, all made up. Uh, I will tell you now, I had an issue getting them the correct way round. So I tried the pencil test where you're supposed to put a pencil next to the filter and if you get a double vision of the pencil end, that's the side that goes towards the camera and the reflective side is the other side. I tried and I failed abysmally. Hi everyone, so I'm a little bit out of uh, timing on my video so I was actually imaging last night um, it's been a bit of a challenge we've had some um, reported clear nights but we've had a lot of uh, mist or high cloud which has affected things and the moon has been really high and bright and uh, it was very close to the target I wanted which was the jellyfish nebula but I did manage to get four and a half hours on it which I was really pleased with um, but yesterday I was so busy trying to get the filters in to the filter wheel, get everything on the camera, get it on the scope, get everything set up. I ended up running out of time, couldn't video the equipment. So I'm going to go over the equipment now um, and this is obviously the next day. So um, the mount uh, is my EQ6R Pro and I've le recently bought an iPolar and this is absolutely fantastic um, I find polar alignment so quickly with it it just makes everything so easy um, say so Simon from Simon's Astro uh, introduced me to one when I was imaging with him out in uh, Suffolk and um, yeah following his experience and watching him polar align how quickly did it I thought crikey I, I, I'm going to try one of these got one and I'll tell you now that they are brilliant, really, really good. I uh, really liked it. So, um, and I know that the polar alignment is good because I've done um, drift align with guide assistant and it's uh, been, been well low, but uh, last night I was guiding at 0.4. So really can't complain at all. So that was an excellent purchase and uh, well, well worth getting one of them. So I've got my EQ6R Pro. Uh, anybody that follows me, you'll know I've got an upgraded saddle. Um, I've done a full uh, tune-up of my uh, EQ6R Pro and I also run it and uh, recently done a Pen Pro Pet Curve. Um, and you can see there I've got the flashing three uh, strobes on the uh, auto guide light there to show you that the uh, uh, Pet Curve is running from the motors. So the only difference to a normal EQ6 here is on the bottom here, I'm actually using, because I've got the EQ8, these uh, feet are like sort of like little pedestals that adjust. If you just um, twist them, you can um, actually adjust the height. And once they've, you've got the height adjusted, they lock as well. It's a little bit hard to turn at the moment because there's uh, quite a lot of weight on top but they're really good for getting the level really accurate and um, they obviously give the feet a nice stable base um, to sit on and they're on some like rubber grips they seem to obviously uh, really help with uh, deadening any sort of vibrations or anything so they've been uh, an excellent thing and um, it's good that I can actually get some use out of them because the 
EQ8 is on the pier. So I've got a Pegasus Powerbox Advance uh, mounted onto the dovetail here to help tidy up with the uh, wiring and this is powering everything apart from the mount. The mount's powered directly from the, I'll just show you this, the Nevada power supply. If I can um, go to the correct side. So there we've got our power supply in there and then we've got two outputs from it. One going directly to the mount and the other one going to the Pegasus Powerbox Advance. Nice thing about the Powerbox Advance is you've got the auto due feature, which is controlled by this sensor. And I've got a due strap at the bottom and one at the top. So keeping that, everything nice and clear. On the camera side, we've got the new ASI 2600mm and that's going into my seven position 36 millimeter uh, unmounted filter wheel and in there I've got the LRGB V Pro Antlia filters and the S2, O3 and HA 3 nanometer Antlia filters and they have performed brilliantly. Um, they're a lot cheaper than Chroma and the Astrodon 3 nanometer equivalents um, and uh, so far I cannot knock their performance. I've got some chroma filters myself and I think these perform on an equal level. So when I first put them in, I must be honest, being unmounted, um, it is quite difficult to get them the right way around. And somehow I managed to put the O3 in correctly, but I managed to put the HA and the S2 in the wrong way round. And there was a funny halo effect on the brightest of stars. Now the stars that are in the jellyfish uh, area, the two brightest stars are about four uh, magnitude, about four to five magnitude. So they're quite bright and they did have a funny effect on them. But then what I was, what, what confused me was I didn't have any halo on the O3, but I did on the HA and the S2, which is not the right way around at all. You would expect it to be on the O3. So what I've done since then is I've, I flipped the H2, sorry, the HA and the S2 filters over. Now there's no halo. The uh, guide scope I've got on here is uh, just a 240 millimeters focal length, and the scope is 650. But at the moment I've got a 0.9 Skywatcher coma corrector reducer in here, and that takes it down to. 585 and takes it from f5 to f4.5 so that's uh, quite a nice uh, um, uh, speed upgrade and obviously gives me a wider field of view which is uh, really good uh, it's a homemade uh, dew shield there that's made from uh, foam card and some vinyl wrap and if we look down there can have a look inside the 130 PDS. So there's my little rig, uh, performs really well. And uh, well, as I say, I'm a big fan of the 130 PDS. I think it's a fantastic little scope and uh, punches way, way above its price bracket. Okay, so there's the setup and uh, hopefully we'll get some more data and then uh, we can show you a nice image. Right, let's uh, wait for nightfall and hopefully we can get some more data. Before I show you my first light of the Jellyfish Nebula, I would just like to mention that my good friend Joe Navarra of Joe's Astrophoto has also got the same camera and filters and he has done a video on mounting those filters too. It would be worth checking out his video as he's bound to have covered some bits I haven't. Um, and some good, he's always coming out with some really good snippets of information. So go check his video out too. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for supporting my channel. It means a lot. To the people that are members of my channel, thank you ever so much. That extra support really does help. If there's anything you'd like me to uh, cover or answer, please just pop it in the comments section below. I do like to get your messages and I do try and respond to every single one of them. But until next time, I'd like to wish you all clear skies and take care.